comfortable environment, particularly for sitting in the stands here tonight. We're up way up high in the booth and staying uh, as toasty and warm as we can. Kick is underway, and so too is the ball game. Receiving it, Jeremiah Knight. And Knight going to kick it outside the 20, 25. Out toward the sideline, cuts back at the 35, and a great return after the 44-yard line, a 38-yard return. So fourth and five, and they're going to go for it. Four wide for Nelson. He's got a man wide open in the middle. He didn't see him. Tucks it and runs, and the dive forward should have progress for the first down. Losing games the way they have, so he wants to get something positive going early in this game. And on the spot, they're going to be short. One of those kids that are getting scholarship money to come out. And, and he really enjoyed the, the commitment. That's a... And that's our first miscue of the game. Unable to get the punt off. Five in the pattern. It goes out to the back. Little swing pass. It is snuffed out. Brandon Lee immediately smothered on the play. No no believer in the pooch punt here from the third. Oh, he is going to pooch it. Well, there's a pooch. This might be one of the worst punts you'll see all season. I think it might be a negative punt. I don't know if that got back to the line of scrimmage. See where they marked it. They did. They marked it right about at the line of scrimmage. This might be a zero-yard punt from the 45. On second down, perfect throw and catch to a wide open target at the 35 yard line. Yards on the hookup, ball inside the 30. Quick pass from Glass, completes it at the 24. Broken tackle, the 20, the 15, and out of bounds at the 12 yard line is Keon Williams again, his second grab of the drive. They can get another first down at the two yard line. Glass feeds the tailback. Somersaulting near the goal line is Van. Touchdown! What a play by Shaq Van. Six yards and a score midair. In the end zone. Take a look for yourself. He's going to go over the top of this. Akron rushes four. Glass, good pocket, fires one perfectly thrown, completed at the 40 and banged down to Rumble. midfield is Sexton, and he coughs it up. Akron says they have it. Man, I, I think they do. And Sexton took a big hit. It was a gain of 24, but it could end in a turnover. It looked to me like Akron was on it first, but they may not have ended up with it. <laughs> they're still fighting. Right? You see, they're both just glued to it. Sexton with one of the Akron defenders. If it's mutual possession, then Eastern will keep it, and that's exactly what the referee just decided, because he's going to get jarred from behind. And look, he did not taking care of the ball that well. It's out there, it's loose, it's not two-handed, and he gets hit from behind, and that, that's uh, Alvin Davis, who, when he hits you, it ain't no joke. And he was able to knock the football loose. Glass, a little shake and bake. Now running for his life, and he's got one up big time yardage at the 25, cut back at the 20, and bang down at the 18 yard line. Out of 10 from the 19 yard line. A run off to the left, nice job of breaking out of a tackle at the 10 to the 5, and lunging forward for a touchdown is Shaq Van. What a run! Ross. I hope Minnesota makes it undefeated into the Big Ten championship game against Ohio State, so it's almost a play in game. Five wide on first down for Glass. All kinds of time and completes it at the 30. Not much of a pass rush here by Akron of late. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, offense number 62. The 15-yard penalty be added to the end of the run. First down. Five on the line for Akron. Grissom's going to keep it. Told you he's electric. Grissom hard to bring down, couple stiff arms, turns that corner and turns on the Jets inside the 25. Blitz coming, Glass with time, completes it over the middle. The top tight end on this Eagles offense to the ground and spinning his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Another one for Shaq Van, this one will hold up. Pass complete and racing all the way to the 35 yard line. That's Jeremiah Knight, biggest pass play of the night. Down attempt. Carry up the middle, no chance. 
Mike Haney, number 93, the first one leading the charge. And for the second time tonight, Eastern Michigan's defense salty on fourth down. From glass, that's vintage Eagle football. That's how they want to do it. And again, glass, perfect. Blocking at the point of attack. Quick throw, a little bubble screen. Now to Williams. That's getting the play, a little check with me scenario. Just got that off. The play clock was under one. And it's going to be a big gain for Shaq Van. Edge of that, and he goes off the backside and makes a play. Big hole left side for Van. Churning those legs and out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Flappable in this game. Again, going bare hands. I much respect going bare hands on a night like tonight. Big hole up the middle, second effort, banging his way into the end zone for a touchdown. That is Willie Parker, the junior out of Tampa, Florida. Make plays running for his life all season. There is the first low snap. Scoops it up, still has time. Now we'll go down to the 15. Well, right on cue, partner, because we had seen two and a half quarters where it wasn't an issue, and it finally reared its ugly head. It's going to wind up back in there by season's end. Of course, they'll have Auburn and the Iron Bowl at the end of the year. Receiver open downfield, caught inside the 10. Glass right under center. And Glass will keep it behind the left guard. Keeps those legs churning, and he's in for a touchdown. Mike Glass. Blitz coming. Four in the pattern. And no chance. Just swallowed it up. That's Beltram on the sack, but there's about four white jerseys there. No glow where temperatures are quite cozy. Down on the field, the snow has been coming down. The wind chill is under 10, and that's the best throw of the night, and it could be trouble. Scipio down the sideline, and finally Akron has found the end zone. 87 yards. Trying to become bowl eligible for the third time in four years. Blitz on the way. Throw is... Off the mark, a little bit short, intended for Dylan Drummond. But Mine has played the best game I've seen, uh, uh, and that's in the last four. Again, Nelson running for his life. Another deep ball. And deflected and picked. What a play. A balancing act Hoying. interception by Brody Hoying. Brody Hoying, his second on the season. I gotta say, I, I believe more games are lost than are won, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, more people beat themselves. Kicked it back to start a play. He actually invented the snap here at Akron and fumble on the play. Really hard for Joe Burrow not to win this award. Uh, unless he falls off the face of the planet, I don't see how he doesn't win it. Uh, the impact he's had is uh, pretty good. As is this run by Mike Glass, who uh, take a broken play and turned it into a huge and you, game. And you see, they're, they're bowl worthy. Down the sideline. And another touchdown. Matt, and then Jonathan Ward up at Central Michigan in a comeback season, playing really good football. Pass caught at the 30 and down to the... 38 yard line. Now, Oski, for those of you who don't know, is a term defenses use to tell everyone they got an interception. Nice reception on third and long for a first down. That's Jeremiah Knight. He's played well tonight. Credit for that. And I, I haven't seen any indications of them uh, curling up after uh, going behind. They, they continue to work, and that's a testament to Tom Arth. And, and the for him, it certainly was to get back near home. Pass over the middle. Wide open target at the 10. Jeremiah Knight continues to find creases. A big back. I got a very undersized backfield. And we'll throw it and wide open. A trip to the end zone for Julian Hicks. Touchdown zips. Looks like Eastern's heading for a bowl again. They just got to finish strong. Hutchinson at quarterback. Hands it off. And that is Boone on the carry. And that should be the final play of the game. Eastern Michigan will improve. To five and five on the year and a couple more cracks at getting bowl eligible. A nice victory on the road for Chris Creighton and his That's club. The end of the football game. First win here for Eastern Michigan since 1995. It's been a while. They'll celebrate that bus ride on the way home.